you could feel it. You could feel the heart. You could feel the energy. You could feel the love behind behind that playing. That was incredible. Welcome back to another Deep Dive with Derek. I'm your host, Derek, but my friends call me D-Rock here with another Ren Reaction. Uh, if you want to jump right in, I've got the timestamps in the description below. If you're new here, I'd like to personally welcome you to the channel. On this channel, among other things, I take a look at videos and music, poetry, other forms of art through the lens of meaningful living, meaning and valued living. So this is a set of tools that we can use to both appreciate and get through the upside, you know, take advantage of the upside of life, but also learn from and get through the dark side of life. So we're using lenses like mindfulness, uh, purpose, personal values, mindsets, narratives, resilience, basically everything that we can use to design and live a meaningful life. So I'm glad you're here. If you've been here before, certainly happy you come back. In either case, if this is something that you like, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that this is something that's worth doing. Um, I don't run ads on these videos on this channel because I think that the attention model and the ad model is largely responsible for much of the downside of society, we'll say. Let's put it that way. So I like to have a direct relationship with my audience. So if you find yourself wanting to support the channel, uh, you can sometimes find a thanks button down here. Think of that as like a tip jar. So you can support me that way. If it's not there, I haven't figured out why it sometimes is and why it sometimes isn't there. But if it's not and you want to support the channel, you can buy me a beer. You can support me with micro donations. All of those links will be in the description. So today we're going to check out Ren McKay. I hope I'm saying that right. Mackay? McKay? I would call it McKay. And in the in the description it said it was a friend of his who passed away shortly after or sometime after Joe, sadly. So I'm anticipating this is going to be something like suicide or for Joe. Um, that's what I'm, that's what I'm, that's what my expectations are. And as we know, expectations matter. Right? So hopefully I'm not setting my expectations too high, but let's, uh, let's check it out. Let's go right in. Okay, it's going to be one of these heartfelt piano types. Very much of like uh, for Joe. Is that what it's called for Joe? I think. Love that scenery. Sublime shirt. All these harmony switches is brilliant. It's you can just feel energy. You can feel the energy behind this music. He's getting emotional, which just makes me emotional.
got that and this backdrop. This is incredible. Several times it looked like he wanted to start singing and he didn't. And there's only like 20 seconds left. Is this an instrumental? Yes, so. Okay. What's that? Twenty two. Right on the left. Kit Callum, Calum playing the guitar. Or is, well, either way. You could feel it. You could feel the heart. You could feel the energy. You could feel the love behind behind that playing. That was incredible. Uh, but I want to hear from you. What did you like about it? What's your favorite thing about that song? And what brings you to a reaction about that song? Uh, send me other things that I need to check out. Let me know in the comments. Other artists, other songs by Ren, other artists that Ren's a part of, Big Push and so on. Let me know what else I need to check out and I'll see you here next time.